Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. Hey, if you've ever met me or you've ever seen me around in the neighborhood, I know how I come across. I do. I've had to deal with social awkwardness my whole life. I am a very quiet and a very shy person. I get easily nervous and I suffer from stress and anxiety. And so when I was a kid, I was the weird kid and I got bullied a lot. I remember this one time when uh, Mark Kesmodel was chasing me through the playground and he was trying to trip me. And I remember when Jennifer beat me up in front of a bunch of other girls on her street and I was so bruised that I had to walk my bike home. I know the names and the faces of each of those people and I still remember all of those moments. I've been robbed, I've had my truck broken into and had my entire stereo and speakers ripped out. They even left my doors open all night long. I had my wallet with all of my rent money stolen from a grocery store. I even had one time when I was single, uh, someone broke into my apartment while I was at work and they literally stole my furniture. And in those moments, I wanted revenge. I wanted those people to suffer. I wanted them to feel pain. I want my bully who picked on me to suffer and to earn my forgiveness. You know, sometimes on Facebook, I'll see our neighbors talk about vandalism or things that they've had stolen. And eventually someone will say, well, it's time to get out the guns, right? Because we do that. Humans, we do that. We take revenge or we take it up a notch. I mean, maybe we might forgive, maybe, but it's only after they ask for it, only after they approach us. Because if they don't approach us, then it's, you know, when hell freezes over, when pigs fly, or not until they admit what they've done. But, you know, I've done some things in my life too. I've done stupid stuff. I've done stupid stuff that has hurt me. I've been a jerk uh, to my parents, to my brothers and my sisters. I've hurt friends. I've hurt girlfriends. I've betrayed people I worked with, people who are counting on me. And so as much as I get mad about the people who have wronged me in my past, I realize also that I have wronged other people. You know, maybe I need to stop and think that if I am ashamed and I regret things in my past, then maybe my neighbor does too. You know, I remember the names and the faces of those who've bullied me, but do they remember me? Am I a ghost that haunts them? So what can I do for them? What can I do for them so they don't have to feel the shame and the guilt anymore? Can I do for them what God does for me? Can I forgive my past? Or better, can I get to a place where I'm actually thankful for my past? That's what we want to talk about this Sunday at Walden Church. Can we be thankful for our past, even though there's stuff in it? We have two opportunities to worship. We have a 9.30 service. Uh, it's our more traditional service with hymns. We have a choir. We have our 11 o'clock service. We have a full worship team. And then we have an excellent children's program from birth all the way through high school. We want to be your local church. I'll see you Sunday.